Aloha, Punahou family. Here we are. What a day. We're here joined together in heart, mind, and soul to share our hopes, say our mahalos, and reflect upon this portion of life's journey that we have shared together. Deepest mahalo to you, parents and family, for your support, nurture, sacrifice, and guidance. Mahalo Punahou faculty and staff members, for you've been a home away from home for so many that we celebrate today. And yes, Mahalo seniors, the class of 2020. You allowed us the gift of walking with you, being a part of your journey. We have learned as much from you as you have from us. So now we ask God's blessings upon our time together. Join me in a moment of prayer. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, our hearts are full as we have reached this milestone of life, graduation day. We offer our sincere gratitude for all that you have done in our lives to make this day possible. You have given us the strength to overcome obstacles, rise above setbacks, find a place of solitude in the heart of bewildering and confusing times. Bless the words that will be spoken, the songs that will be sung, and the meditations of our hearts as we lift them up in joy today. In your holy name we pray, amen. If you know me, you're probably shocked to see me standing here. Well, what can I say? Expect the unexpected. I am not a straight A student, nor am I even a straight B student. I'm not perceived as outgoing or social. However, I am a Punahou student, and I do have a message to share with all of you tonight. During my first year at Punahou, I was often asked, why did you choose to come to Punahou? My freshman self replied, because I want to be successful in life. To me, at that time, Success meant getting a Punahou education so that later in life, I could get a good job and make a lot of money. However, my senior self has developed a new answer. I live in Laie, so for the past four years, I'd wake up at 4.30 a.m., leave Laie by 5 a.m., go to seminary, and by 7 a.m., I would be at school. I'd go throughout my school days, and when school would finish, I would attend sports practices, which ended around 6.30, after which I head down to the locker rooms, shower, and by the time I'd get home, it would be about 8 at night. By the end of my freshman year, my home was no longer a place where I felt connected with my family, or a place where I could make memories, since my time there was limited to just a few hours. I felt as though my home became just a place where I would sleep. I was living the same day over and over. I resented this. My main focus was to earn an athletic scholarship for my college, so I could continue getting a good education and earn money. So ironically, this past school year, I decided to no longer play sports. Many people were shocked and disappointed, but quitting sports gave me the opportunity to spend more time with the ones I loved and put more meaning in my life. I got to support my younger siblings and cousins in their sports and other performances. I could attend youth activities in my church, such as service projects, conferences, and camps. I got to join the ILH Poly Club, I was able to participate in variety show and became close with more of my classmates. I participated in what would have been an amazing holoku. I got to participate in a lot of other activities that I wouldn't have if I had continued to play sports. 
I finally felt like I wasn't living the same day over and over. Prior to this decision, I often questioned my purpose and the point of life. Although I haven't fully found out the answer to this question, class of 2020, here's what I do believe. Life is not measured by what we sacrifice to achieve success. Life is also not something you can master. Life is meant to be meaningful. It's meant for us to use our talents and most importantly, our Punahou education to serve others. It's meant to create relationships that will last longer than wealth. Quitting sports has helped me realize that I don't want to be successful in life if I have to give up what makes life meaningful. I hope that all of you will come to realize the same. Let's use what Punahou has taught us to change the world and focus on serving others. Let's not just strive to make money. I challenge all of you here tonight, and especially the class of 2020, to not only aim for success in life, but to aim for its meaning. Tonight is a big accomplishment for the Punahou class of 2020, but an even bigger accomplishment for our family, friends, teachers, and everyone who supported us throughout our high school careers. So on behalf of the Punahou class of 2020, as my family would say, Fafatai, and for me to you, I say thank you.
I'm a little my way. Oh yeah, oh my. I'm a little my way. Oh yeah, oh my. Now I won't lie, this is my first high school graduation, so I'm not an expert at commencement speeches. However, I do know the right place to start is by saying thanks. Thank you to our parents and family who have supported us in ways that go far beyond paying our tuition. Thank you to our faculty, staff, and coaches who have guided and supported us in and out of the classroom. Thank you to our deans who have done so much for us from the moment that we stepped foot into the academy. And finally, thank you to my fellow seniors. I know these are trying times, but I would go through months more of lockdown just to have the chance to do my 13 years with you all over again. Next, it's only right that I honor this particular moment and our place in it. Whether we've been together for one year or 13, all of us have come together to define our Punahou journey. Our collaboration, you might even say synergy, has produced more than a stellar academic experience. You have turned an exemplary education into something much more. I would argue the best way to pay back the gift of your Punahou education is to pay it forward as educated, responsible, and engaged citizens. I'm not worried that you won't be successful. Punahou has given you the skills to do well, but it has also given you everything you need to do good. Because as much as we have to learn from the world, the world has much it needs to learn from us. It needs our thoughtful ideas. It needs our determined idealism. It needs our voice. It needs us. You don't have to wait. In fact, you shouldn't wait for a decree by some far off bureaucrat or distant administrator to make change now. As the saying goes, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. Don't wait to be the leaders of tomorrow. Be the leaders of today. I have heard so many of you express your profound frustration and anger about our current circumstances. I've heard some people say they don't feel like their accomplishments will be recognized. Now there's no denying the brutal reality of this pandemic. It seems like our lives are suddenly defined by what we can't do, the parties we can't have, the hugs we can't exchange, and the moments we can't share. I know I'm not alone in grappling with our painful new condition, but remember, that no matter how dark the clouds of the gathering storm, no matter the current struggle, no matter the toll of the pandemic, this too shall pass. One day the skies will be clear again, life will return to normal, one day we'll be able to share more than WebEx rooms and FaceTime calls, but not today. So class of 2020, welcome to our first crisis. We might not get to choose the hand we're dealt, but we get to choose how we play that hand. Seniors, I assure you that the class of 2020 and this pandemic will not be forgotten. So in 30 years, when some kid is reading her US history textbook on this decade, what do you want our story to be? Do you want to be the class that surrendered, that bowed to the coronavirus? Or do you want to be the class that rose to meet it? One last challenge for the graduating seniors of 2020. It's up to you. The philosopher John Paul Sartre wrote, man is condemned to be free. From the moment that he's thrown into this world, he is responsible for everything he does. It might not feel like it, but most of us are, or soon will be, legal adults. Every moment presents a choice. Your actions are your own. No one can make your decisions for you. One small step by each and every one of us, doing our best where we can, whenever we can, with whatever we have is the only way to build a freer, fairer, and more prosperous tomorrow. Know that you can make a difference in your world, no matter how small it may seem. Whether you believe it or not, you are ready for freedom and it is ready for you. This might not all be what we imagined, 
But looking back at our years together, I think we can agree this is what we came here for. Thank you, Punahou. And no matter where you go or what you do, I hope you all live long and prosper. Thank you.
Good evening. Dr. Latham, faculty and staff of Punahou, parents, families, special guests, and our beloved seniors, the class of 2020. To the families of the class of 2020, mahalo for sharing these amazing young people with us. Let's take a moment to honor the families of this remarkable class as they receive our warm gratitude. Next, I'd like us to take a moment to honor my colleagues, the capable, caring, hardworking, wise, and devoted faculty and staff of Punahou School. It is on behalf of this exceptional group of educators and professionals that I share our collective appreciation of the class of 2020 tonight. We love these students. For us, the class of 2020 is defined by their joyful optimism and their orientation toward action, but more about that in a moment. This group of students communicate, collaborate, think critically, embrace challenges, empathize, honor self in place, and engage with global perspective. And all of their actions are defined with a joyful optimism. This joyful optimism is not to be confused with youthful exuberance or even sophomoric naivete. No, they understand what's going on. They are focused on their goals and they accept and take on challenges with gusto. By all traditional measures, this class has been high achieving. Punahou seniors represent around 4% of the graduating high school seniors in the state, and yet they earn a disproportionate number of accolades and recognitions for their talents. From athletic to academic competitions to scholastic honors, these students have shown brightly because of their remarkable minds and big hearts. And we know they don't do it for the accolades. They learn and work and strive because it's part of who they are. And this group has led our school's performing arts this year from their extraordinary variety show, which many have said was the best variety show yet, to the first ever digital holoku, plays of all types, dozens of memorable and delightful concerts. They've entranced us with their singing, directing, writing, staging, and performing. And their expositions of visual arts have been wildly impressive too. Even before the transformation of the past two months, they sought to define new and exciting ways to communicate their art with the world. The level of their performances could only be rivaled by schools that specialize exclusively in the arts. This class has been stellar athletically as well. Their coaches describe them as a class with standout performers, but note that they're more broadly defined by their fierce commitment and excellence as team players. And these seniors have played an important role in continuing to expand the definition of interscholastic competition. From robotics to urban planning to the new eSports League, they have been leaders in defining an evolving landscape of learning. And they are the first seniors to have G-term in each year of their academy experience. Joyful optimism, an orientation towards action. Seniors, one of your teachers describes your orientation toward action perfectly. This class, more than any other, they write, seemed enamored with the phrase, let's go. They used it every time we had a group activity or debate. They shouted it at each other and sometimes at opponents in the middle of sporting events. They even used it in advisory room trivia. They always seemed ready to, well, go. They wanted to live in the moment. They wanted to push themselves, both individually and collectively, to always give their best and have as much fun doing so as possible. They truly relished a challenge and a chance to measure themselves against a worthy opponent. And then the pandemic hit, and with it, a chance to quit, to lose faith, and to simply let the rest of their time at Punahou fizzle out. But that's not how these kids roll, and that's not how their lives will be led. You can't take away their optimism. You can't kill their lust for life. You can, however, marvel at their response to adversity and smile mirthfully at a future that probably has no idea what's coming. Let's go indeed. Orientation towards action, let's go. Another teacher remembers, a student from the class reminded me that they were born in the shadow of 9-11, started school in the aftermath of the Great Recession, and are graduating in the time of the coronavirus pandemic. And it is perhaps because their lives have been punctuated by global challenges that they know nothing else and to take action and do so with joyful optimism. Seniors, while the final quarter of your senior year has been without the unchoreographed interactions and encounters on our vast and beautiful campus, it's perhaps because of those challenges that your strengths have shown through with blinding clarity. 
There is one example of your collective orientation towards action that will always stick with me. I'll always remember walking down from my office in Cook Hall toward the Mamiya Science Center on Friday, March 13th, and seeing the setup for your impromptu. Speakers, makeshift decorations, and excitement in the air. Anticipating, correctly, that your prom would be canceled and that day could be, and was, your last on campus together, you took action. You were stunning, some of you in formal attire, all of you in high spirits, making a decision about how to take matters into your own hands. Our highest hope for you is that you continue to do that, to scan the landscape, to forecast and identify needs in your community, and to solve for them with gusto, joy, and your wicked smarts. That moment back in March is prophetic of your futures. When you didn't wait for someone to tell you what to do and made the right call anyway, it was super brave and very cool. Prom is a relatively small thing, but it symbolizes the bigger challenges calling you ahead. Climate change, injustice, inequality, poverty, world health crises, economic downturns. We are counting on you to continue to make bold decisions, to try things that someone says might not work, to keep pushing what you know is right for your communities and the world. And we know that you will bring to that hard, painful, and sometimes terrifying work the joyful optimism that has defined you in your time at Punahou. As your adoring deans have reminded you over the last four years, you know the way. Thank you, seniors, for showing us the way forward. It is with full hearts that we imagine you turning to each other with your characteristic hope and exclaiming, let's go. All of us left behind will miss you terribly. Dr. Latham, it's my deep honor to present to you your first graduating class at Punahou, the joyfully optimistic and action-oriented class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. McCarran. Punahou seniors, families, and friends, I want to start tonight with an expression of thanks, with a deep mahalo. This is an extraordinary commencement at the close of an extraordinary year. In only a few short months, our world has shifted on its axis. We've experienced a global crisis that has created challenges that few of us could have imagined last fall. Closer to home, our campus has been closed, we've pivoted to distance learning, and our lives have been dramatically disrupted. But Punahou's community has stood together with resolve, character, and stunning generosity. As your new president, I am truly grateful for that. Thank you to the faculty, staff, and administrators who made it possible for Punahou to continue to deliver an outstanding education amid one of the greatest disruptions our nation has ever experienced. Thank you to the parents who made sacrifices over many years to send your sons and daughters to Punahou. And thank you especially to this senior class the Punahou Class of 2020. Seniors, in your final semester at Punahou, you all took a course you didn't sign up for and didn't know you would need. Introduction to a pandemic, moreover, wasn't an elective. It was a requirement that none of you could opt out of. You had to go through an experience that was intellectually, psychologically, and personally searing. You learned that the world is profoundly interconnected beyond the borders of nation or language. You learned that inequality of opportunity continues to affect our fellow citizens in ways that are unfair and often devastating. You learned how quickly our foundations can shift and just how fragile human life really is. You grew up, in other words, far more quickly than you would have otherwise. You've also learned that while you can't control what happens to you, you can control how you respond, and you have responded with dignity, grace, and hope. I've often talked about Punahou's need to educate the whole person, to ensure that in addition to preparing graduates academically, that we also send out students who are self-confident and resilient, who know how to navigate uncertainty and ambiguity. You've done all that beautifully, and you've inspired me. You all flourished, of course, under normal circumstances. Your athletic teams went out and won state championships, which were thrilling to watch. 
You delivered amazing orchestra, choir, band, theater, and dance performances. You worked hard, and you devoted enormous hours to finding the right fit at some of the finest colleges and universities in the world. You also put on a variety show that still leaves me smiling, laughing, and working on my dance steps. But it was your response to this unprecedented crisis that really set you apart. From your joyful and creative impromptu prom, to your many collaborative projects, to your striving to help others in need, you kept your focus on the human relationships that matter most. You join, in this respect, some very select company. The last time that Punahou was disrupted so profoundly was 75 years ago, during the Second World War. On December 7, 1941, only a few months after our school celebrated its centennial, Punahou was utterly transformed. That morning, groups of teachers and students climbed to the top of Rocky Hill, looked west toward Pearl Harbor, and watched billowing black smoke fill the sky. Much like you, they knew that their world had changed. Just after midnight, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers occupied the campus. Cook Hall became an Army headquarters. Powahi became a garrison for guards. Dillingham was occupied by strategic planners. And Lower Field became a barracks. All on-campus classes were suspended as students and teachers dispersed to continue instruction in private homes in Uanu and Manoa, and finally at the Teachers College at the University of Hawaii. Interscholastic athletics was canceled for two years, and the May Day performance of 1942 was interrupted by a siren that forced students to put on gas masks over their lay and dive under their desks. Yet those students endured the hardship and the disruption. They worked in pineapple fields and canneries to support Hawaii's food production, raised money for war bonds, made surgical dressings for soldiers and sailors, and through it all, continued to produce Kapunaho and the Oahuan. More than 800 alumni served in the armed forces, and 44 of them gave their lives. That generation, moreover, would prevail in a global struggle, launch a revolution in civil rights, and transform our society with its leadership. You, too, now graduate from Punahou at a historic moment, at a point where you can make a pivotal difference in the world. How might you think about that challenge? How can you take what you have experienced at Punahou and go forward to pursue lives that will truly make a difference? As your president, I'll offer just a few simple words of advice. First, start with gratitude. Remember that your successes and accomplishments at Punahou have come precisely because you are the beneficiary of a loving, caring community. Your parents and your family share in your joy, and their sacrifices, devotion, and commitment have enabled you to make the most of your personal gifts and to grow into the young women and men that you are today. These are the people who always believed in you, even when you didn't believe in yourself. Your teachers and advisors supported you, exposed you to the complexity of the world's challenges, and built a community in which you could learn how to learn. You also built lifelong friendships, bonds with those that understood, loved, and supported you in times of need. So I urge you to stop, reflect, and thank those who have enabled you to reach this point. You will find that gratitude leads you to think beyond yourself. It enables you to develop a sense of empathy and to listen for the times when you yourself might support, comfort, or encourage someone in need. Your kindness is priceless, and it will cost you nothing. I would also encourage you to carve out space in your lives for reflection, for time to consider the meaning of your experiences. Once, when I was a young parent, I found my daughter sitting quietly in the middle of her room with a surprisingly serious expression on her face for a five-year-old. Wondering if she was all right, I asked her, Miley, honey, what are you doing? Daddy, she replied, I am understanding myself. Duly impressed and hoping that I might someday understand myself, I gave her a hug and I closed the door. The fact of the matter is, however, that we rarely give ourselves that kind of space. We are constantly on the clock, interrupted by the chirps and pings of text messages, racing to respond to yet another email, when we badly need a long walk on the beach or a searching conversation with someone who knows us well. 
As a professor I have long admired once put it, life is short, we only get to do it once. While our iPhones, iPods, and iPads keep us fully distracted and entertained, we easily turn away from the gritty, concrete reality of a world that makes deeper claims on our energies, resources, and talents. Finally, I hope that you will reflect on the ways that your most heartfelt desires might lead you to lasting vocations. I'm not talking here only about careers, although that is, of course, important. Instead, I refer to the personal choices that each of us make through the course of our daily lives and the broader sense of calling they represent. Trying to discern such a path is never easy and often more than a little daunting. But the real challenge is not just to figure out what you are good at. After all, you are Punahou graduates. You're good at a lot of things. The real challenge is to determine what you care about, what matters to you, and what you're willing to commit yourself to. Doing that, moreover, requires a process of self-discovery and the courage to take risks. Nelson Mandela, a man who knew more than a little about courage and risk, once put it this way, there is no passion to be found in playing small, in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. The fact is that you too will have the chance to lead lives shaped by conscience, compassion, and commitment. As you depart from Punahou, I know that you are strong enough to engage in the ardent searching and questioning to find your own course. I also know that you will be loved and sustained at each step along the way. Congratulations to you all, seniors of the class of 2020. Punahou is a better place because you have been here. We are very proud of you. We will miss you, and we hope you return often. God bless you, and thank you very much. Shuntaro Abe. Jennifer Ackerman. Kaylee Akagi. Carson Akai. Mika Akashi Grimes. Vinny Ako. Rajit Alabastro. Ashley Alagao. Briani Alejo. Kayla Almeida. Seth Altorado. Caitlin Andrade Tomimoto. Ariana Antoku. Xian Ao Lum. Malia Arioshi. Kenneth Auni. Chloe Belisikan. Riley Barber. Grace Bartell. Madison Byrne. Brayden Bella. Emily Bender. Devin Berby. Darcy Bellina. Kai Binney. Sarah Blickfelt. Yuli Boric. Emiloa Borland. Hugh Brady, Ashley Broderick, Hayden Brown, Traden Budar Nakasoni, Andrew Bueller, Sean Carlisle, Aaron Castillo, Brett Castro, Joshua Chan, Aaron Chang, Christian Chang, Jadeen Chang, Anderson Chen, Ashley Ching, Cassidy Ching, Katie Ching, Lauren Chok, Karen Chong, Brina Choi, Kilinoy Cockett, Cameron Kofelt, Dylan Cole, Natalie Kalat, Rebecca Conde, Piper Crabtree, Max Kronk, Kara Cunningham, Kiaomoku Okalani Dansel Evans, Hiram DeFries Saranitman, 
Tressa Dakina, Jack Duker, Johnny Dodge, Paige Dold, Dawson Driscoll, Kaya Dunford, Jensen Dunn, John Egami, Blaine Eldridge, Jonathan Ellis, Luke Ellis, Elise Erickson, Reef Evora, Gavin Izel, Cassidy Farm, Naleo Olokahi Foro, Amanda Flores, Cheyenne Fu, Samantha Francisco, Dylan Fujimoto, Tyler Fujimoto, Anna Fujisaki, Cade Fujitani, Chase Fukuda, Jarrett Furuta, Ethan Furuya, Victoria Gakutan, Tiana Ganico, Jensen Garcia, Mia Gon, Trent Gesteala, Alakai Gilman, Nicholas Glazier, Megan Go, Aaron Gu, Norissa Goodman, Novell Goodman, Kai Goodrow, Amber Gracie, Inky Grimsley, Alexander Grossman, Gunnar Grun, Dominic Guzman, Riley Hagerman, Jade Hagihara, Kaale Haile, Caitlin Hamasaki, Jillian Harada, Kalai Harrison, Jason Hashiro, Diza Hendrawan, Heaven Hence Doro, Jordan Hepting, Christina Hicks, Chloe Higuchi, Sophia Jimeno Price, Cody Hirano, Mona Hirose, Kavailana Malie Okohala Hong, Tori Hoshide, Erica Howell, Daniel Huang, Josette Huang, Kevin Huang, Hannah Humphreys, Stella Hung, Aukina Hunt, Terence Hyun, JC Ichimura, Leilani Ikeda, Kylie Ilonumi, Lauren Imai, Dylan Inafuku, Sky In, Pierce Inoue, Alexandru Yoshivas, Leah Jarek, Kainoa Jim, Skyler Johnson, Lily Jones, Andrew Jung, Chloe Ka'ahanui, Ulala Kajioka, Stephen Kakuda, Kanoa Kalahiki, Legacy Kalua, Kaiden Kamakura, Noah Kame'ehonua, Taryn Kaneko, Tara Kaneshiro, Ella Kang, Gianni Kaniho, Kaden Katada, Ashley Kato, Royce Katsura, Cole Kawakami, Ren Kawasaki, Kiana Kaya, Ethan K, Sierra Careweeder, Mayuka Kelly, Duke Kenny, Lee Hao Keoni Ula Stender, Dana Kim, Jackson Kim, Samantha Kim, Serenity Kim, Mauhia Kimata, Nicole Kirihara, Maya Knox, Caitlin Cole, Yoshi Kobayashi, Bert Kobayashi, Sophia 
Kobayashi, Bree Kodama, Jennifer Kojima, Mihir Kohli, Amy Komatsu, Trevor Komeji, Katie Komori, Ryan Kong, Adam Kirvatsi, Elsa Cronin, Reiko Kuba, Jacob Kuklak, Sia Kumar, Jane Juan, Lauren Kui, Courtney Kwok, Julian Kwan, Allison Huang, Roman Lila, Emma Lalau, Alyssa Landis, Kira LaRue, Cody Lau, Ethan Lau, Keenan Lau, Kyla Lau, Jeremy Lee, Maxwell Lee, Cade Lale, Jonas Leato, Mia Letao, Alexander Levy, Eliza Lewis, Kate Lee, Dylan Litsky, Kiara Lilakis, Emma Lim, Robert Liu, Malcolm Liufau, Malia Lizaris, Alexa Lu, Zachary Lu, Layla Luce, Tristan Lopes, Allison Lu, Ryan Lum, Tatiana Lum, Ryuchi Lun, Dylan Lundberg, Anthony Lai, Filippo Maldini, Xander Manuel, Quinn Moretsky, Ashanti Martinez, Cole Martinson, Maya Mastic, Legend Mataltia, Maya Matsubara, Taylor Matsubara, Abigail Matsumoto, Shia Matsushita, Samuel Matsuzaki, Bryn Matter Ramos, Christine Mao, Kaimana Mao, Benjamin McConnell, Miley McGuinn, Kayla Meisenzal, Mallory Meister, Sabine Mejia, Ronson Mendoza, Sarah Metius, Tia Midro, Ty Miller, Leah Miyaki, Ari Mizuguchi, Josie Mobley, Solatoa Moyai, Jacob Moore, Abigail Mori, Cade Morihara, Casey Morimoto, Jada Moritz, James Morris, Samantha Mosteller, Leila Mukaigawa, Emily Murimoto, Mehana Muranaka, Makana Murashige, Alex Nafaret, Ethan Nagamine, Cole Nagata, Carter Nakagawa, Nicole Nakamoto, Anna Nakamura, Mari Nakamura, Riley Nakamura, Grant Nakanishi, Noel Nakaoka, Cole Nakasone, Isabella Nesti, Dane Neves, Emma Ingpak, Vincent Ng, Anne Go, Audrey Nguyen, Liam Nichols Shipley, Corey Nishimura, Matthew Nishimura, Trent Nomura, Taylor Nouchi, Rusty Nozoy, Sean Owase, Peyton Ogasawara, Taylor 
O. Davin, Ota. Alexa, Okada. Luke, Okamura. Tai, Okazaki. Bryce, Okihiro. Johan, Olander. Sina, Omura. Rachel, Orlowski. Tristan, Oshiro Sano. Jaren, Oshita. Caroline, Oyster. Sean, Park. Zachary, Parrish. Matthew, Pasquale. Kawai, Paul. Dominic, Peters. Nanea, Philpotts. Maya, Piper. Connor, Posetti. Anna, Praywell. Anella, Ramos. Ryatea, Reynolds. Sophia, Reed. Kyla, Ronquilio. Maxwell, Roth. Ivan, Ruan. Angelo, Rufo. Calandra, Ryder. Kaylin, Sakai. Ray, Sakamoto. Tyler, Sakamoto. Julia, Salvador. Tyson, Santos. Aaron, Sasaki. Jaren, Sato. Ian, Saturnia. Jordan, Savage. Kylie, Shiel. Trevor, Schmisser. Madison, Seabolt. Paris, Sellers. Connor, Sito. Alexandra, Shank. Juliana, Shank. Blake, Shu. Bruce, Shawalter. Sky, Shimabukuro. Tyler, Shimabukuro. JC, Shimamoto. Kelsey, Shintaku. Royce, Shioi. Sierra, Smart. Kai, Smith. Ayla, Sprecher. Callum, Stefanelli. Nikolaus, Steiner. Lana, Stoyadinovich. Matthew, Sugiki. Casey, Sumikawa. Frank, Sun. Ali, Southerd. Henri, Suzuki. Jacob, Sweet. Moretta, Taase. Noah, Tabar. Tyler, Takahashi. Allison, Takamiya. Mason, Takamoto. Noah, Takeyama. Michael, Tamashiro. Christopher, Tamayo. Miriam, Tamante. Jason, Tay. Vincent, Terrell. Malcolm, Thompson. Kyle, Tien. Michael, Tilker. Jacob, Tokuhama. Aaron, Tom. Nani Naalapai Tomic. Kella, Tothero. Alexi, Townsend. Clara, Sai. Jenna, Suchita. Michelle, Sui. Yoasa, Tua. Toa Salamasina, Tuliloa. Connor, Tumbaga. Natalie, Turner. Anna, Uehara. Ryder, Uehara. Yael, Van Delden. Juliana, Vasali. Rebecca, Verdis. Sarah, Vincent. Mia, Viola. Jake, Wakahiro. Gemma, Walter. Brayden, Watanabe. Jaina, Westcote. Lillian, Wilcock. Mahina, Williams. Alana, Wilson. Hunter, Wilson. Mary, Winicky. Sage, Wong Davies. Angela, Wong. Bailey, Wong. Elijah, Wong. Elise, Wong. Isabella, Wong. Jared, Wong. Kael, Wong Busarakam. 
Asia Yamada, Michael Yamada, Joshua Yamafuji, Zane Yamamoto, Tai Yamashita, Brandon Yi, Brian Ye, Lakely Yi, Jenny Yim, Madison Yim, Dylan Yokotake, Leon Yoshida, Jenna Yoshimoto, Kiani Yost, Sala Young, Florence Yu, Kalano Veo Ikapolio Kalai Yuen, Elena Yuen, Charles Yung, Nicholas Zambuto, Ali Zane, Emma Zane, Anya Zoraster, Brad Zukarin.
Aloha, Punahou family and the class of 2020. As we close this time together, I would like to reflect upon the life of Moses. He's one who had many stirrings in his soul, challenges and even times of running from God's hand and living in seclusion. He finds himself face to face with God and in that moment, he's told, take off your shoes for you are standing on holy ground. If you recall, in Senior Chapel, I told you that when you entered the chapel building, that wonderful space, that it's your presence, your spirit, that made that space sacred and holy. Now you depart the physical campus of Punahou, and I want to remind you that wherever you go, as you live and give life to those around you, you create holy ground. As you walk this earth and experience the joys of life and the challenges, remember you stand on holy ground. Puno has been and will always be your home, holy ground where you were nurtured and prepared to change and be changed by the world. So receive now this blessing which is a message from the Apostle Paul to his friends at Philippi. This is a model as to how you are to live, and I want you to imagine a wise person speaking these words to you. Receive this blessing. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Go now in God's peace. Amen.
Make this place yours 